Hey, how's it going? West Coast Johnny. So today's project, I'm making a pair of wooden oars for the boat because, well, all the ones that I like and I see that are vintage or used online seem to be all in the Pacific Northwest for some reason. And they, they're a lot to ship. So I, I found a really cool pair. It had this little American Indian on it and they were uh, seven feet long and they were super cool and they were only a hundred bucks but they wanted a hundred and fifty dollars to ship them so you know what we're just gonna make our own uh we love making stuff out of wood so i went ahead i sat in the boat i have these oars right here here's the oars that came with the boat now they're plastic they're six feet long there's a little crack right here and there's a little crack down there but the the locks the oar locks were frozen and i actually had to cut the bolt off so we're going to make some kind of like this out of wood but a little bit longer because these seem to be kind of short the whole thing's going to be made out of two by fours and hardwood strips for for decorative purposes and when i say douglas fir two by fours what I mean specifically, here's what you want. Okay, so what you're looking for when you buy your two by four at the uh, lumber yard or uh, home improvement center, you wanna make sure it's kiln dried. So this just says it's prime select grade and Stimson's the maker. This is certifying it, um, it's a sourcing certification, okay, and then this one right here, they're saying it says Stimson stud. Stud means it's 92 and a quarter, which is what you need. You don't need a full 96 inch, eight foot board. So buy this one, but see that right there says KD. That's what you want because the KD stands for kiln dried, which means the wood is nice and it's, it, oh, I got to always use straight wood, but see how straight it's has no moisture in it. It's not uh, what the lumber yard would call green lumber, which means it's not still wet and really heavy because it just came out of the tree. The problem with that is when you cut it and shape it and sand it and do it, everything you want while it's green, what happens is as it dries, the wood will start to curl or bow. It does, you know, it's notorious for that. So uh, you don't, you don't want to do that unless you, uh, get your kiln dried wood, then you won't have to worry about those issues. So we're gonna go ahead and start the layout. Okay, well, the first step we're gonna do, we're gonna get one of these two by fours. We're gonna mark it right in the center and we're gonna cut it all the way down in half. Okay, so we're gonna start that right now. Then we're gonna start cutting for our little fins. But the first thing we do is we, we cut the board in half. Okay, so now we're just gonna do a layout. What we have here is uh, three pieces of Douglas fir, kiln dried with no eased edges, which means it's square on all corners, see that? Then we got our hardwood, but I do also wanna use some of the red oak, but I don't wanna put it on the very end because I know what's gonna happen. If I put it on the very end, most of it's gonna get removed when it gets shaped. So I'm gonna put the red oak, I'm probably gonna put it in the middle of these, which means I'm gonna have to cut these on the saw. So let's do that real quick. Okay, well, I got the layout. And once it's all pushed together with the glue and the clamps, it should be right at six inches. There's a little space in between the boards. But here's what we have. We have the Doug fur handle, okay? This is Douglas fir. This is red oak, 
quarter inch. This is Douglas fir. Black walnut, Douglas fir, walnut, Douglas fir, a red mahogany Douglas fir. And all I did to put these little pieces in, I just went ahead and got this one piece that we just made, you know? I'll show you. So a minute ago, it looked like this. And I just cut it right down the middle. I, and I didn't do it in the center because I wanted to, I didn't want to make it too centered. Just offset a little bit. There you go. So I'm going to go ahead and clamp and glue all this. And then uh, I'm going to let it dry overnight. And tomorrow we're going to start shaping the handle. And we're going to use some pretty cool tools. There's one called a spoke shaver. And there's one called a hand knife. Okay, well, if you know me, you know my middle name is wood glue. And I can't stress the importance of using enough wood glue on this project because it's going to be the only thing fastening this wood together. We're using no screws or nails or anything, just glue. So we're actually going to brush this on with a little brush and we're going to hit every single surface of every single side, okay? Um, there's a little trick where you can get the wood, you can get the wood wet first, but not wet, but just a little bit damp and it's supposed to make the glue work better. I might do that because these ores gotta be really strong. And uh, anyways, then we're gonna clamp it together. We got some, uh, some clamps. So let's go ahead and start. Okay, so what we want to do, before we glue all these together, we want to get each piece of wood, get a clean, damp cloth, and just give it a wipe, nice and damp. See how that's kind of damp? It's not wet though, it's just damp. And then we let that sit for a few minutes. And what it's going to do, when we apply our glue on here, it's really going to take well, because it's just a little bit damp. Okay, we're going to do that with all of our pieces. Now, as you start clamping, you're going to see glue come out in between the boards. That's okay. Keep clamping. I'm going to get, and then we're just going to wipe all the glue off. But I want to get at least a dozen clamps on this. Okay, well, we got one of the oars all laid out. And here it is. So we have our uh, different, you know, cuts of wood and it's glued very well, clamped really well. Like I said, there'll be no fasteners anywhere on this. Nothing holds these together but the glue. And uh, so here's one, I'm gonna go ahead and start on the second one. And I'm gonna let this probably sit overnight. I'll bring it in the shop and just let it harden, maybe even for a couple days. Um, I know glue dries, they say in two hours, but I really want this to kind of set and cure for a good day or two. Okay, I measured in a half an inch on each side and I'm gonna cut these and then I'm gonna go ahead and put our red oak in between and then put this, this other piece back up. And then we're gonna glue everything in place. That's how we did the other one. All right, so we're going to glue these together right now. The one, our other one's drawing behind us. But again, first thing we're gonna do, you get a clean, damp rag. And you wanna wipe just, just a little bit. Wherever glue, is going to be applied just give it a you just want it just lightly damp and uh, it makes the glue work better it gets all the dust off of the wood and you'd be surprised how much dust is on wood which could affect all the you know the adhesion process now see, i got to get the sticker off the sticker will keep glue from Okay, before I get too far, I'm going to take the stickers off the hardwood.
All right, we got the stickers off the hardwood. We're wiping down both sides with the clean, damp cloth because it's going to actually make the glue work a little better and it gets all the dust off of the wood. But when the wood is just slightly damp, the, the, believe it or not, the glue works better. So we're just gonna do that. So we're gonna clamp all these together in a second. Okay. All right, we got our pieces how we want them. This is our second ore, okay? And again, it's it's uh, the Doug fir, the red oak, the Doug fir, the black walnut fir, black walnut fir, red oak fir. So we're gonna go ahead and brush both sides really good. And then we're gonna get our box of clamps and we're gonna set it up. Okay, here's an example of what I mean when I say let's put the glue on. See how I brushed? the glue on okay it's completely on that surface that's how you want it to be okay you don't want to just put a little on your finger and kind of dab it around because this like i said is only going to be held together with glue okay <laughs> 